Hey again guys, this uh, is our connector and in our last video we figured out how to make the extrusion so that this could be disconnected from here and when you pinch it, it would come together with that one. So a little bit of details and those kinds of things that we were following that were kind of complicated. It took a little longer than I thought. Uh, now we're kind of flying blind here. We don't have uh, dimensions for the height or the shape of this and or this part right here. This is like a thinning part that has a little texture to it so that your fingers don't slip off of it. So it's not crucial that it be made uh, precisely to scale, but we're going to do as best we can to try to get something that simulates this and this little uh, ridge that comes up. I think once we are done with this, then we can just add some detail uh, that looks uh, makes it look rounded and uh, the material can be changed and then we'll be finished with the connector so hallelujah all right so we know that the the size of these are point uh, zero three so the stuff that we're going to do to this is going to be very small uh, I think what we'll do is we'll start with the the little finger impression textured part right here So we'll start by making a new sketch on this top surface Let's roll it over so that it's the same orientation as our Our drawing is showing us and now we're just going to draw a semicircle So we'll start by you know, you can find the midpoint it infers for you really a nice feature of inventor We'll click there and just draw a circle. Don't take up the entire space. I'm using 0 0.424, four, uh, you know, whatever you want to do there. Click on that. Then we're going to draw lines, and we're going to bring those lines from the tangent, point of tangency, the, the outermost point on it. It comes straight across from the midpoint. You'll find it. Comes straight down till it touches the outer edge. Do that again on the other side. And now use your uh, trim tool in sketch to modify trim and trim the smile out of that. So we've got like a, a free throw line here. And now what we want to do with it is we want to extrude that down a little bit. And then we'll use, um, I guess we'll use a 3D fillet after the extrusion to make it look textured a little bit. So let's go to 3D model and extrude. Let's pick that. And let's make that go down a very small amount. It's going to be down 0.025 or 0 0.02, whatever. 0 0.025. Yeah, and make it go down. So when it goes down, it's cutting, it's red. And when it comes up, it's green. Make sure that you've got it in cut mode. It kind of looks like a printer there, doesn't it? But that means it's cutting down into that. So uh, I guess that's deep enough, and it'll leave us just a tiny bit. See how thin that's going to be? Maybe I'll get rid of the 5 there so that it has a little bit more thickness. I think uh, that might be a good decision. Yeah, needs more material there for strength. So we'll click check there. So 0 0.02 is what we've got. Now we're going to use a fillet. Um, and we can't go further than 0 0.02. So if 0 0.02 doesn't work, we'll use 0.19, something like that. These things keep popping in my way. And now we'll just hit this corner, and that's a continuous loop right there. And it should fillet that out and make it look nice. Check that. <coughs> Now we're just going to add a new sketch to that top surface there. Keeps flipping it around on me. It doesn't really need to be changed, but I'm kind of obsessive about that. All right, so now I just need three little raised areas so it catches your finger and holds it in place. And uh, we'll just kind of play with them when we get it drawn. So I'll take my rectangle tool and I'll just start one here. I guess I could start them all right here. It doesn't really give us a good idea of where to put them. So free reign here. And uh, we can adjust the sizes and those kinds of things as we need to. Just something so it looks like our fingers are 
are gripping onto something. How tall is this? 0.22. I'll just keep that dimension and I'll, I'll change the dimension of the other two to make it symmetric, uniform. Mm -hmm. That's a 0 0.022, isn't it? That's better. Okay, so now I got all three of them done. Let me make sure that I'm looking something like what they've got. It looks like they went a little higher, a little further away for the first one. But I don't think that's really going to knock us out of the water. I think we're okay. So now to put a little texture on that, we're going to extrude that up. It's going to extrude up. Can't go more than 0.02, can it? Let's make that uh, maybe 0.18. These things keep popping down in my way. 0 0.018. And check that. All right. So now we just need to either figure out how to fill it in or we can chamfer it either one. Um, I think I'm going to use, I, I don't know, we haven't used a chamfer yet, so let's do that. We'll just use a little chamfer, and our chamfer has to be a very small number, so this is up point, uh, 0.18, so I'm going to do like 0 0.01. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I think that might work. That looks okay. Has a little bit of texture to it. Not too complicated, not too simple. So now we've got these little deals that's going to hold our finger on as we do it. And we'll do the same thing we did before. We're going to use a mid plane. So go back to your horizontal um, work plane, which is that one, and right click visibility. Then use your pattern tool again. Make sure this time your features include these and this and don't forget your fillets so you got three things there you had to choose to get all of that to flip over to the the other side click on mirror plane and then click the mirror plane that you chose and then click OK and then look at it and you can see that it's flipped to the bottom side and everything came with it so we did a good job on that um, click on the home button starting to look like a connector. I like it. So now we're going to do, we'll probably use this one more time so that we can make that little raised area right in here. And uh, so this is what I'm talking about right here. We've got to make a raised area that's going to be like a, a triangular surface there. This is a little tricky to do, so follow along and we'll, we'll try to figure it out. There's multiple ways to do everything in this program. Uh, you could draw a, a side profile. Um, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll use our other work plane. That is the vertical work plane. This one, mid plane. Right click. Uh, we can draw and let's make it visible first. And then we can make a new sketch on that work plane just by doing that. Uh, if you press F7, it gets rid of everything down to the work plane that you're working on and shows you the work plane that, that you need to, to begin to work on. The work plane that we're working on, uh, we need to work off this surface right here, which is just above the indentation and there are your little finger points. Uh, so we're going to be working right here. And what we'll do is we'll just use a line tool and notice you, when you chose line tool, you kind of lost the control over the lines in, uh, beneath it. But that's okay for this drawing. It, we don't have any measurements to go by. We just need to make sure that we're on the line right here. And we can come across. Let's zoom out just a little bit. We can come across this way. And then we want to come up and we want to get above, straight above. 
Let's zoom in. Yeah, you see how you can kind of infer vertically? And I'm going to go to this line, and then I'm going to come down. All right, so on the fly, we've made a thing closed loop. has to be closed, triangle shape that kind of looks like if I had the edge of this to look at, it would look like that. And now what we're going to do, we're here in the middle, so we're going to extrude it with symmetric extrusion both ways, and it has to extrude out to the outside edge, which is point, I can't remember what the depth of that is. Yeah, 0.53, mine was 0.522, so whatever half of that is. Um, cool thing about this is the computer can think for you, I think, uh, but we'll try it and see. So we're going to choose 3D model and extrude. When I, I extrude, I like to see it in a, uh, in a 3D view. And evidently, Inventor does too because it automatically did that for me. And when you press F7 again, it brings back your original plan there. Now we can, uh, we can choose that extrude. And we can make it go symmetric both directions. And uh, the distance was 0 .5, uh, 0.522, I think. Now here's what you want to check. If you press click top, you want it to go all the way out to that line. Make sure that it hits that line or is super, super close to it. And when you click check, you've got your extrusion done. Not really visible until you get to look at it from that side. I think that looks pretty good. It's a little catch, so when it clicks in place, you know your your uh, connector is is in there. So now the last thing we'll do is we'll take this extrusion and we'll flip it to the bottom side. So we we'll use pattern. We'll choose that feature. Then we'll back up and we'll use the plane that is horizontal mid mid plane. And uh, you want to hit that and make sure it's going to show up. Ah, I messed up. Let me cancel that and let's do that one more time. I made a mistake. You, you click here, you choose the feature, then you click on mirror plane, then you click on the plane that you want to mirror around. Now it shows up under there. Okay, so that's better. And then when I click OK, I've got one at the top and one at the bottom. Get rid of my visibilities and I'm good to go. Right click visibility on that one, right click visibility on that one. Now the last thing we want to do is put some really fine little fillets around our shapes. And we'll do that in 3D mode and fillets are really cantankerous. They're very edgy. 0.02, let's see what that looks like. That might be a little much. Let's make it 0.01. Yeah, that's a little finer. See if it'll do it all the way around. It should. Since it's such a small dimension, it's good to go. So go around all your edges, inside and outside, and front and back, and get all of your little fillets to smooth out the edges, and then we'll change all of our uh, material to an ABS plastic. see if it worked. Yes, it did. Okay, so you can see the difference is just a, a, a curved surface as opposed to real sharp points and stuff. All right, looks like we're done. So what we're going to do next is change our material value. So up here in mine, this tool right here is your material choice. Right now it's, it's generic. So you can either click on this button or you can click on this down arrow key. ABS plastic is all the way at the top. I'm going to make it a plastic. And then our Automoblox car is a green, so we'll go back to that area and change the uh, material color by clicking on Adjust. Adjust drops you out to a dropper. If you already have something in color and you click on it, it's going to change the color wheel here to that color. So when I click here, it's going to change to the gray color of this surface. Well, I don't want that. I want it to be green. I click there. What I want it to be green is everything. Notice that when I'm dragging from the top uh, left to the bottom right, my